Ah, well, hi. Good to see you all again. Actually, I don't see you all again, but you see me, I hope. Good for you to see me, but you don't say, good for you to see me again. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to read you a Clifford book today. I read this uh, little story in the circle that we did for room three at our school this morning, and uh, it was a fun story. I think the children enjoyed it. I, I know I did. <laughs> this is called Cl and you know, the Clifford visits the hospital, and everybody knows who Clifford is. He's a great big dog, and the book will, all the Clifford books show you pictures of how big he is. There's the inside page. These books are written by Norman Bridwell, and Norman Bridwell makes the pictures, too. There's how big Clifford is. And so the little girl says, Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog, Clifford. When he was a puppy one time, Clifford went to the hospital. She's going to tell a story about when Clifford was a puppy. He wasn't big as a puppy. I'm going to, again, I'm going to bend the pages. I don't do these with uh, books I get from the library. I'm going to bend the pages so you can see them better. You'll only be able to see, you'll only be able to focus on one picture at a time this way. Clifford wasn't sick. He went accidentally. My grandma was in the hospital and mom made some cookies for her. Clifford loves cookies, and when we weren't looking, he jumped right into the cookie basket. At the hospital, Grandma said, thanks for the treat. Then she said she liked something to read while she got a cookie out of the basket to eat. So Mom and I went down to the gift shop to get Grandma a magazine to read. What a surprise. Grandma reached in the basket and out jumped little puppy Clifford. Grandma loved having Clifford come to visit her. But dogs were not supposed to be at the hospital. Suddenly, Grandma heard footsteps. The nurse was coming. What would the nurse do when she saw Clifford? Luckily, the nurse didn't see him. He was lying in bed next to Grandma, and he was too small for the nurse to see. The nurse had come to check Grandma's pulse and take her temperature. To Clifford, the thermometer that the nurse was using to take Grandma's temperature looked like a... Pep Clifford thought it was a stick of peppermint candy. And he stuck out his tongue and he licked the thermometer. Ew, Clifford said, That's, that was not candy. It tasted like medicine. Grandma didn't have, to, didn't have a chance to tell the nurse that a dog had just licked the thermometer the nurse was putting in her mouth. Yuck! She had a dog lick thermometer in her mouth. The nurse had to give Grandma a shot. That's when Clifford decided to leave. He didn't like needles. He didn't like to be around shot needles. Clifford zigzagged between people's feet out in the busy hallway. He sped around the corner and he ran through an open door and there were some children playing. Some children who were had to be in the hospital too. The children were amazed to see a little red puppy in the hospital. They're so happy to see Clifford. The children had lots of fun playing with Clifford. Clifford was having fun too. Look what they made. They made a big block house and Clifford got inside it. And then some girls started dressing Clifford up like a doll. He didn't like that. He had to get out of there. See you girls. Clifford was in such a hurry, he 
He didn't look where he was going. And he knocked over the cart that that man was pushing. What a mess. One of the children came to the rescue. He found a nice, safe place for Clifford. Now, he put Clifford in this little bed. He's a little boy. He didn't know what that bed was, I don't think. It was a, it's, the, in the, it's in the room where they take the brand new babies that have just been born. And he put Clifford in one of the baby beds. There wasn't a baby in it, so it looked like a nice place to put Clifford. Watch what happens now. Clifford liked the baby nursery. He kept very still there. Proud new daddy came to the window and asked if he could see his new beautiful baby. Uh-oh! He looked at the bed that his baby was supposed to be in, and what did he see? A little dog. That's not my little boy, the father said. Everyone was upset. A nurse rushed out to find the man's real baby. The baby had been with his mother all along in her hospital bed. Just then, now this is still uh, Emily Elizabeth telling the story. Just then, Mom and I came back from the gift shop. We told the nurse and doctor we would take Clifford home right after we said goodbye to Grandma. Grandma was sorry that Clifford didn't stay. She really liked his company. But she was happy with the new dog we found and bought for her in the gift shop. This one wouldn't run away because it was a little poodle dog. It was, it's a, with a heart on his chest. See, or her chest. And it's, of course, it's a stuffy. It can't run away. Now, this is Clifford grown up again. He's as big as the hospital. Look at that. Now Clifford goes to the hospital from time to time to visit his friends and make them feel better. Good old Clifford. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that story. I enjoyed reading it again. Thanks for listening, everybody. See you soon.